This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. That little piece of music there was just something I threw together in order to uh, demonstrate a particular method of recording guitars. And it uh, it's pertinent to this week's viewers' question because today is Wednesday and we're dealing with viewers' questions. So if you have any questions of a guitar or music-related nature that you'd think I'm the right person to answer, then get in touch. You can see the, uh, the website address at the top of the screen there link in the description use the email form there or you can just use my email address jrguitartuition at gmail.com or you can leave a comment below this or any of my other videos and you never know your question might just end up in one of these videos um a chap who did get in touch uh, was called charlie and this was his question john just a question about your guitar tone when you do guitar demos your guitar always sounds big as if it's in stereo somehow how do you get this effect is it some kind of delay thing, or do you do double tracking? I notice that sometimes I see your DAW on screen, and it looks like you're recording onto two tracks simultaneously sometimes. Has this got something to do with it? Thanks in advance, Charlie. So, big stereo guitar sounds, how do you achieve it? Well, here's an explanation. Here is the explanation. So here's how I do that stereo guitar sound that the very observant Charlie has noticed in all the gear demos that I do. Um, there's two techniques that I use here, double tracking and a little delay trick that I sometimes employ. Uh, let's deal with the double tracking first. This is a technique which is best used on um, when you're playing a part that is known, like a rhythm guitar part, chords or a riff or something like that. Something where you're not going to be improvising, basically. Uh, what you do is you record the same thing twice and um, you pan one performance all the way to the left of the stereo picture and the other performance all the way to the right. And it's just those minuscule, tiny differences that you don't even notice things that you're doing different in, in your performance that make the big stereo sound. Just slightly different pick attack. Um, maybe if you're playing a rhythm guitar part and an ever so slightly different strumming uh, pattern of variation on, on what you're doing. And these tiny differences uh, give you that sort of left and right separation. Here's the acoustic guitar part that uh, we kick the tune off with. Uh, you'll hear it start off in mono with one guitar. And then, uh, about halfway through this little clip, it's going to kind of broaden out with two guitars into stereo. And it sounds like this. <laughs> And the more observant amongst you possibly noticed that about halfway through the uh, the tune that we heard earlier, uh, I substituted, I think it was the right-hand side 
of the uh, of the acoustic guitar stereo picture with um, I took the regular tune guitar out on one side and replaced it with a Nashville tune guitar if you don't know what that means I did a video on this uh, I think it was last week sometime so go and check that out I'll link to it in the description um, but this double tracking technique also works just as well for electric guitar uh, rhythm parts here's those sort of chunky power chords that uh, came in uh, on the on the piece earlier and uh, once again starting in mono and then it uh, kind of widens out into stereo with two guitars <laughs> And you'll notice there that I um, I use two different guitars on the left and right sides of the mix. Um, I often do that when I'm playing, um, you know, kind of chunky power chord stuff. I find that, again, it's about the differences between the um, the left and the right hand performance. You can make it just that little bit more different by using a different guitar. And when I'm playing sort of kind of power chordy sort of stuff like that, I often find a humbucker guitar on one side of the stereo mix and a single coil guitar on the other side balances out really well. So that's double tracking, um, but if you if you're doing sort of an improvised guitar solo, are you really going to sit and learn that solo that you improvised? Uh, so that you can double track that and you know probably it's it's a bit of a tall order let's put it that way so this is where i employ a delay trick what i do is i record as charlie noticed onto two tracks simultaneously and i pan them le hard left and hard right and if i was just to do that and just leave it at that what i would get is one um kind of louder signal straight down the middle so i apply a little bit of a delay usually to the right hand side and these are the settings. You can see uh, this is the um, the delay plugin in Reaper. And the first thing you notice probably is that the wet signal is just sort of set at unity gain. And the dry signal is turned all the way off. So all we're getting on the right hand side performance is just the delay sound. We're not getting any of the dry signal. You'll notice that uh, the delay time there is set to 35 milliseconds. And uh, the uh, the feedback the number of repeats that we get is uh, turned all the way off that doesn't mean that you don't get not get any repeats it means that you only get the one repeat you're not getting any kind of repeats fed back into the uh, into the beginning of the of the delay uh, plug-in so you're not getting kind of echoes of echoes of echoes basically um, so effectively what this gives us is um, the same performance in, in, in the left and right channels but the right hand side one which is where I in fact, usually put the delay is happening 35 milliseconds later and again that creates enough of a difference between the left and right hand sides of the stereo field to give us that stereo sound once again here's the isolated guitar part this is me playing that um, improvised solo and you'll kind of sit, hear it to begin with in mono and then you'll hear it kind of widen out into stereo and you'll see the uh, where the delay kicks in to give us that stereo sound like this <laughs> So there you go, that's how I get the uh, the stereo, big stereo guitar tones on pretty much everything I record. Uh, try it, it's fun. Uh, go away and have some fun with it yourself. And as usual, you'll find a full tab for that piece of music at the top of the video. The tab is in both Guitar Pro and PDF formats, uh, along with a clip of me playing the, uh, the, the, the whole thing and a jam track for you to play along with for yourself. All of that is up on my Patreon page. There's the address and the link is in the description. As I'm sure you know by now, $3 or £2.50 a month get you access to all of these additional resources that go along with these youtube videos as always a massive thank you to everyone who supports me in that or any of the other ways all of which are linked down below in the description and i will apologize for the uh, slightly kind of stilted vocal delivery in the uh, that last in that last clip there i had a coughing fit halfway through so the second half of that uh, was brought to you by jaitman's throat and chest menthol lozenges so there you go um uh, that is pretty much the video for today folks 
hope you've enjoy, enjoyed what you've seen and found it useful and informative and perhaps even entertaining in some small way. And if that's the case, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so. And why not drop me a like as well while you're at it. Don't forget, as always, the live stream every Friday, 5pm UK time, where we drink beer and talk about music and guitars. What a great way to kick off the weekend. I'd love to see you there if you can make it. But for now, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Look after yourselves, folks. Stay well, stay safe, and above all, stay sane. Bye for now. Thank you.